Hi everybody and welcome to the next video in our series. Today we're going to be talking about user authentication. As you remember, we set up our organization called Pluto. We set up our project called Hello Pluto and now we're going to dive right into authentication. Authentication is the ability to allow users to log in with their username, password, perhaps their Facebook login, Google login. You've seen it everywhere. You've done it more times than you can probably count. One of the most sought after features in my heart is authentication because I've built more authentication systems than I ever want to admit. And now I have it right here in front of me. It's easy as ever. So first off, when we go to auth, we are looking at, you guessed it, our landing page. Right here, we have the ability to see our teams, our users list, our teams list, the security that we're gonna implement, the templates used for sending things like emails and messages. Uh, the usage of it, some basic analytics and settings of our overall users. So first off, we're going to say, hey, look, it's a user. Uh, then these are the teams right here. And now we're going to jump over to security. Security says how many users, unlimited, not limited. How, how long do we want sessions to be? Uh, and how many sessions is a user allowed to have? So if they have multiple devices, say a web browser, an Android and an iPhone, because they're crazy, they may have three sessions right there that are active. How many do we want to limit that to? How many instances, how many web browsers, how many places can they log in with a valid session? Right here, we're going to keep password history. As you can see, it's going to enable and prevent using recent passwords, just trying to stay secure. Um, we're also going to use the dictionary. We'll basically check to see if it's a common word password or some other information like that. There's a link right here and it can tell you what some of the most commonly used passwords are. Personal data. So we're going to disallow personal data it means that we're going to keep uh, we, we don't allow passwords that contain any part of the user's information. So their first name, last name, email address, anything like that, which is really cool because we do put security first. Now we're going to jump over to templates. My favorite is going to be the settings. We'll get there, I promise. So right here, we can set up your SMTP server. So if you want to send an email, uh, self-hosted, or if you're on the cloud version, for instance, that we can have this for you, your email template. So, hey, I want to send an email. Whenever a user verifies themselves, cool, I can go through here and set it up. All of these follow the same principles. Magic URL is the same exact as well. We're going to send you a message. Hey, check this out. Click this link. It makes things happen. Reset the user's password as well as inviting a user. And here are your SMTP settings if you are using a custom SMTP server. So now we're going to jump back over here. We're going to go to your usage. Like I said, just some basic analytics. Registered users. Users created, read, deleted, updated, and so on. Settings. Now, this is the bread and butter of it all. This is what gets us setup. This is what, how we enable the things that we need. First off, your basic auth methods, which is email, password, your phone number. Hey, you can be anonymous. JSON web token, magic URL. You saw that template that we just used a second ago. And then team invites. I'm on a team. I want you on my team. I send up an email. You click on the email. You open it. You click the link. Boom. You're with me. And then the coup de gras, my favorite part, is the user OAuth2 providers for users. You want to log in with Amazon, Apple, Alt Zero, Autodesk, so many, Facebook, Etsy, GitHub, LinkedIn, Google, No, I mean, really like all of these. So you have the ability to add these logins to every single application that you have. And with that, they'll be able to use their Google account or their Facebook account or their GitHub account to log into your application with little to no effort, just using the SDK. And I urge you to go over to appright.io and check out that SDK. And that's kind of it for users right there. It's simple and it's quick. So head over to appright.io, check out the documentation and dive right in. And then until next time, keep coding. Oh, and make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell if you want to be notified. Take care.